All right, guys, today we're gonna talk about uh, coffee mugs, the ultimate in, in coffee mug for outdoorsmen, all right? So I put this up on Facebook the other day, and apparently I am not the only one that likes to take my coffee with me when I go fishing on a boat, and inherently it spills within the first five minutes of the, of the trip because these mugs just suck. And even if they're like, uh, you know, have lids and stuff, they inherently spill. So, I found a perfect mug yesterday. This mug holds 22 ounce. It is double wall, stainless steel, super insulated. It also has a silicone bottom wide base. So that doesn't allow it to slide on a, on a, on a truck or on a dash on a boat um, and if it does guess what it has a lid and a pouring thing a drinking unit a drinking mechanism which is which is uh spill proof believe it or not so if it does even fall over it will not spill so if I can find my wallet I'm actually gonna go in here and get me a cup of coffee to to uh right now live almost live live to you guys I'm gonna get my multitasking skills going here grab my wallet drive through a Dunkin Donuts real quick and uh do it I just want a, a refill uh, black coffee with one Splenda, please. All right, hold up. Okay. Put the rest of my liquid out from yesterday. Uh, Careful, it's at the top. It's hot coffee, hot coffee. Hot coffee. Oh, 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 too much coffee. Put some of that out. All right, we got a hot coffee, as you can see. Actually, it's too much damn coffee. So I just pour a little bit of it out. And I'm gonna park over here before I kill myself. And talk about it. All right, so I'm parked. Put my wallet away before I lose it again. So the piping hot coffee, you saw me just get. You put the coffee in there, right? You open. And that's two, there's, there's a lid on top. Obviously, there's a lid on the bottom to, to keep the pipe. There's a lid on top, a double lid, okay, which keeps it. Um, there's actually two lids. One with the little button, right? You push it. You push it, and you can drink freely. Oh, that's hot. All right. And then there's a red around the, the top. You push it down, I'll put that cover on, and it locks it down. So, it comes out. Well, maybe drop the residual. But, as you can see, it doesn't spill, it doesn't fall over, and if it does fall over, you can pick it back up. You still got plenty of coffee. It's not gonna fall in. There's plenty of coffee in here. Put the lid on it, put it in a backpack, cooler, whatever, and keep it all nice and warm. Well, you probably don't wanna put it in a cooler, because you cool it down, but, I had this thing on a boat yesterday on a shoot. It was 60, a cold front came in, it was in the 60s. I know it's not cold according, you know. It's cold for, for Florida, especially for, for April. And a cold front came in, it was in the 60s. And I got the coffee at 8.30 at this exact same Dunkin' Donuts. Went on a shoot and at noon and two o'clock when I actually had time to drink this stuff. Uh, I drank it on the way too, but I had it on the boat doing shoots and stuff like that. And two o'clock, it was still hot. And at six o'clock, it was still warm. That's pretty much like 10 hours. So this thing is well worth it. It is $23 on Amazon. I'll put the, the link in there somewhere. Double insulated stainless steel. Keep the liquid warm for a long time, or hot, or hot cocoa, or soup, or whatever you want to do, or even cold. Um, spill proof lid, and a silicone wide bottom, so it doesn't slide, doesn't tip over and stuff. And if it does tip over, it's spill proof. And if you, and on top of that, you can, is, is double spill proof. So push the button. Bring your coffee, push this down, 
Let me spell cook. Looks pretty good, man. Three bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link somewhere. Around here. 